Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Folks, we are in Louisiana. We are south of New Orleans. This is the town of Jean Lafitte, where the Piggly Wiggly. I want to, we're on a red fishing trip. Braden, Michael Harris. Who we got over here? Kyle Rutherford. Kyle Rutherford. And there's Rip right there. All right. Yeah, hey. Who's that? Rip. Hey. All right, folks, it's dark 30. We all got up. We all here waiting at the dock. We're going to go around and get a roll call and everybody tell who they are. I'm Kyle. Kyle's here. Um, JJ. JJ's here. I'm Dylan. Dylan. I'm Braden. Braden. Michael. Michael Harris? Johnny. Johnny. Jason. Hi. Right. Jason, where y'all from? Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola. We've been with Jason before. Johnny, you, where do you live now? I live in Panama City. Is he, but are you working out of? I work everywhere. Everywhere? Okay. He's a gypsy wielder. Okay. Good deal. Y'all excited, boys? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes. Who's going to catch the biggest fish today? I think all that. Me. Never catches <laughs> it. All right. Okay. Jason Dillon, uh, I have cystic fibrosis, genetic gene disorder. One in four people a carrier never know it. It takes two carriers to make a child. Um, when Dylan was born, he's uh, 15 now. When Dylan was born, life expectancy was 15 years. It's uh, it's gone up to 36. New new releases say uh, 41 years of age. So Ooh. they're they're fun. You know, it's important to find funding for it, and uh, you know, it's just a fight for the cure. Um, you know, it, it affects their uh, immune system, their digestive system, their respiratory system. Uh, you know, they take numerous meds daily, uh, physical therapy, treatments. Um, it's just, uh, it's a grueling task. Uh, There's strong troopers to have to get through it all. So, uh, you know, we're just really thankful and blessed for them. And, uh, you know, we just hope every day we can find a cure for it. All right, uh, boys really enjoy the outdoors, don't they? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Fishing, that's what they love to do. All right. Coming down the canal here. What's up, fellas? Good morning. Good morning. All right, we got everybody loaded up, and uh, Rip, would you just tell us a basic game plan for today. Well, well, the first thing was to get Michael in the boat. That we got him in the boat safely there. Yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to run up here there. And we're going to try where we was yesterday. We're going to try with some shrimp on the bottom on the Carolina rig. And we Out, we put a shrimp on the bottom and you're on top of a little clamshell bed and we're just gonna kind of leave it sit just want to hold it a little tight and you'll feel them fish just kind of bumping when it's gonna get good there you'll actually feel them hitting it as it's going down oh it's got a lot of red fish on the bottom you yes sir yes sir it'll be all red fish maybe a little catfish every now and then but when the red fish start they run all the catfish away all right Folks, in the distance, I saw some buildings over there. Where are those buildings? 
That is New Orleans. We're a little close to the tree line here, but if we was to move out another mile and a half, yeah. you would be able to see the Superdome and everything. No kidding, we're that close, huh? Yep. The biggest building you see is One Shell Square. And I think it's 44, 45 stories. So that's the biggest building in the city. New Orleans right there. Yep. Lift them up. There we All go, right. well, man. Good one. Keep it, give me, give me five. Good job. Come right here. Walk up here. Yeah, hold up there. There you go. Coach. Look at Coach. Hey. There you go. Look at Coach. Give a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. Get him, little man. There you go, oh. brother. Oh, get a little cat. Yeah, catfish. Catfish and catfish. Catfish, catfish. See how far we're in the mud, coach? It's up to here, so what happens, it's not so much the weight of the spear. After you spear it, it's the leverage of it, you know, when we throw it. Yeah. And then you let the rope out. It's supposed to be like seven to one when you ain't go up there. Yeah, so you call it a Cajun spear? A Cajun spear. All right. That's, we don't have that same kind of anchor, right? It's nah, that much it's mud. It's good in mud, but it won't work in sand. It's that much mud bottom, huh? That much mud, that's correct. All right. Uh. The spirit now. <laughs> that's it. Good morning, Papa Joe. Uh, Rip, we're out here in the summertime now. Compare that, compare your summer fishing to your fall fishing here. Well, we, we generally fish in these ponds a lot, big ponds, you know, in the marsh. Last year kind of faded out a little bit, and we don't know why, because when you go in there, the crab traps have crabs in it, you have your bait swimming around, so we know nothing's wrong with the water. We don't know why the fish don't want to take the marsh here, you know, the last couple of years. Now this year the marsh has really been poor. Everything's kind of been out in this open water. And you pretty much do the same thing in the fall as you do the summer. Uh, the only upset, you know, is exception is in the fall you're going to start getting these fronts. Yeah. Now, we, you know, we're on the east side of this lake, which is a big lake. Northwest would be this direction over here to our right. So, I mean, you get a 20 mile an hour Northwester, you know, you have four foot waves here. Water gets muddy. So you're gonna fish in these corners. Whichever way the wind is blowing, you try to get to the lee shore, if the fish is there. You know, I mean, not all of the lake has fish. So, I mean, even if you can find lee shore and clear water sometime, if the fish is not there, you know, you're not gonna do anything. So, we. What makes us good, the option that we used to have so much shallow water fishing, no matter which way the wind blows, you can go in a pond and two, three feet of water and tuck out the wind, you know, but it's not been like that lately. Then. Got a good start now. Okay. 
Fisherman ain't still hooked up. Uh. We got a fish too. <laughs> hey. Oh, shit. Wait, he just pulled in a fishing pole. We got a pole and a fish. <laughs> That's fun on the show. Oh! Oh! Lost it. At least he kept a pole. Hey Brady, hold up, hold up the pole. Pull the pole up, at least you caught something. <laughs> What's all that grunt? <laughs> he <a> grunt. <laughs> you got it, buddy? Oh crap. Oh, doing good. There, you there go. he is. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh man, nice one. He swallowed that. That's all right. He's in the boat. That's only half what's going to happen to him. Look at coach. Look up. Pick your head okay, up. Look at coach. Go. There you go. Nice one. Good job. Good job, little man. Quick 
Both his last three fish come out of the same hole. Oh, this is a little catfish. Catfish? Well, about time we got a catfish. You tired of catching redfish, aren't you? <laughs> I'm tired of don't catching catfish. But... Oh, what you got, man? Come off? Oh, fuck. Okay, coach. All right. Good job. Oh, one here. Got one on both boats. That's exactly. Yeah, because they were close to each other. That's a good point. Those two fish, were, like Rip said, they're feeding together. Got one here and over there. Got a little bit of side to it. All right. We got him in. Okay, y'all got that one in? Get him, little man. Come on. There you go. Get him in the boat. Look at the spots on him. <laughs> Look at all the spots. Yeah. Get him, little man. <laughs> he got, he got another one. That's in there. We got a honey hole right here. Uh oh. We're just trying to put one in the box. Oh, look at all that grunting in. <laughs> Oh, come on. Did he come oh, out? Nope. He, he just swimming towards you. Since you can't hear, read my lip. Crit really. Throw it out and let it sink. <laughs> that's a nice one. Hold on, that's a killer. Evidently, oh, you boy. ain't hearing me, so maybe read my lip. And that was easy to get the hook out. Yeah, look, he kept the hook that one. That was a good one. Uh, Reverend, what's your favorite knot tying a hook on? No, wherever you just look I up love an improved oh. clinch knot. Improved press knot. Oh, you heard it, folks. Four or five wraps, back through the looping and back through yeah. the main hole. That's exactly one I use. And you heard it from a gotcha. guide. And I use it on everything. I use it uh, like on this uh, Power Pro. Yeah. You know, they, they recommend they different knots yeah. for the strength, but I mean, it's 40, 50 pound test. If you lose two, three pounds, it, it ain't a big deal to us. Yeah. On these size fish. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all got a holler. You get another one? Yeah, another one. A fish or a fishing pole? <laughs> it could be a profitable day, a couple more of those, huh? That's right. <laughs> That too. Camera's still running. Look, put that hook over there. This is like three in two minutes. There you go. That's a good one, buddy. My arm is numb. Turn it on. Okay, just lift him up. There you go. Good job. My arm is right, numb. Pick him up before you take him off right there. You're going to take him out. Oh, right and it's numb. Nine thirty, right? Yeah. Turn it on about nine thirty. There you go, little man. Oh, big enough Let me see, Dylan. Grab the fish. Let me see it. Is it still morning? 9.30. <laughs> All right. Good job, buddy. Who called that one? Right. That's a good job. Michael. You having a good time? Me? Yeah. Yes, sir. You rather be home watching TV? Do what? Would you rather be home watching TV? You're supposed to say only if Panhandle Outdoors was on. Only if Panhandle Outdoors was on. <laughs> they won't fill out. Dad, yeah, I think we got our 20-limit. Oh, uh, guys. Uh, at least 15.
call it now. Good one, buddy. Nice Good one. Drum. <laughs> yeah, it's a black drum right there. That's hey. the best eating fish in the bayou. Woo! What you got here? Get that was easy. There. Good job. Oh, shit, look here. Best eating fish out there, right there, buddy. Good fish. Good job. Give us another one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I tell you what, we'll run up there, we'll go try to. Of course, we'll hit y'all with your rod, but I'll whack y'all with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're wrapping it up, getting some pictures in here. Boys, have y'all had a good time today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, who did catch the biggest fish? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> what, uh, Told you. You know what are you going to tell your captains today? today? Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Good deal. Good job. We've got an ice chest full of fish. Now, who's going to clean them? They are. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. We Michael? didn't catch them. It's been a good trip, Michael. <laughs> Do what? been a good trip. Yeah, great trip. Beautiful day. Awesome. Donnie, have a good time? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, guys. Good deal. that knife along his backbone, you get right to the end of the tail and stop. Flip it over and strip him of his skin. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.